Okay, I'm going to test them because one thing I remembered when I was checking this out was they didn't have a lot of old stuff. Okay, so they've got Twilight Zone, so I'd be happy. Twilight Zone. That's, that's truly amazing. Okay, Bruce Lee movie. Game of Death is good. So you never have to be bored again. The other people don't mind waiting. Now I know why it took me so long to get in here. <laughs> Watching a movie. Did you just take it off? You did. What do you know about Netflix? I know that we have Netflix. It's a resource for movies, uh, entertainment. They're supposed to have the best shows around. The old TV shows that I was able to find, uh, international movies. Guys, I, I really don't. I know I, I, it's uh, we got a new TV and it says Netflix on it somewhere on the remote and I've yet to experiment quite that far. And what are your thoughts that here is a company that is exclusively online and is now making some of the most acclaimed shows in all of entertainment. Yeah, it's great. People like me, we're not going to continue to pay for channels we don't want to watch. And uh, Netflix really has the right idea. We don't actually sit down and watch television. And my kids, they never sit down and watch television shows unless I make them watch something with me. If Netflix, uh, I, don't, I don't know that they do news, but if they, if they started doing news that was reliable, uh, you probably could get rid of TV. <laughs> well, it's interesting, because I try to explain to my friends that kids watch YouTube, watch internet, and thanks to you, I know about it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be as stupid as most of my friends who say, what? Netflix also has a resurgence in bringing back classic shows or even saving shows from cancellation, because it can rely on subscription numbers to make shows for a specific fan base versus just the masses. Oh, really? So, as long as they have the technology to put up so much content, why wouldn't they? I love that because especially they're appealing to me and my kind of people that like the more offbeat, maybe unique series that aren't, no offense to stupid sitcoms, you know, these moronic stupid sitcoms that I don't even watch. They come and go. So I love the fact they have they can bring back like Arrested Development. So now that there's access to so much content now, and exclusive premium content even on Netflix, do you think the future of traditional television is in trouble? I don't know that it's in trouble, but it's certainly getting confusing. <laughs> it has been for many years as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, technology is just going exponentially multiplying. Well, I don't know that it's in trouble but I think you're gonna find it to be less prevalent. It might be, yeah, because it's got so much competition now, so that's good if they could eliminate cable because they're ridiculously priced <laughs> and you're all, they're always going off and you have to call them all the time. So now that you've experienced a little bit of Netflix and learned more about it, what do you think of it now? I think I'm gonna get it. I will probably leave here and go and like, to Costco or somewhere and shop TVs just to see how much they are because this is this is just what I want. My TV is still like this. It's still, the, I mean, the depth of it. It weighs like 70 pounds because I tried to move it to do cable things and all that. Ah, oh, it's old. It's old. It's time to upgrade. <laughs>